When the lights go down in the city And the sun shines on the bed Do I want to be there? Sounds just like Steve Perry. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're welcome. Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid drag seeds of Corbin. I'm Steve Perry. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks mm. to Patreon, follow us Twitter account, subscribe to the channel, like button. So juicy. Spank your mother today. Yeah. For me. Uh, t- <laughs> today, we got another round table. Yay! Yay, yay, yay. Uh, if you haven't seen the, the first one we did with Kamal Hassan and uh, um, uh, SS Rashamuli and a couple of others, uh, go check that out. Love that one. It was one. This is more, uh, I think, of the Hindi variety, but there's not all Hindi. This is uh, a couple of people from different industries. So it has um, um, uh, Karen Johar. Wonderful. And you are Kashi up. Oh, uh, our, our dosti. Yes. Uh, and do, 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 did do, you uh, see the <laughs> ridiculous? Back and forth uh, between. Talk about that right yeah. Now. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> and a whole bunch of other people uh, uh, that we've that we've seen, and some that we we haven't actually uh, seen yet. But uh, we we love these. These are so fun. Apparently, and this is the current one too. Yeah, yes. Yeah, great. Out a few days ago. Great. There's a one the coming up. Uh, the actors roundtable. Awesome. Uh, even though this has round actors in it as well. Um, but it, that's not. A, I think it has a bunch of like Vijay Varma, Telotama. Great. Um, uh, Trip D is in it. Um, a whole bunch of other awesome. uh, our, our dosts are in that as well. So here we go. Oh, yeah. Baby making music. Hello, and welcome to the Galata Plus Mega Year and Roundtable 2022 presented by GT Holidays and Western Mumbai Boy Lake. That was some editing. Whoa. Hello everyone and thank you for being here for the Galata Plus year-end 2022 grand interview which Karan says It's a large group utterly frivolous. So yeah. we shall not go anywhere <laughs> That's just my style Yeah, that's it, we just like uh, He can't ever take off his host hat, I feel yeah. No yeah, There's no coffee, so But I, I just want to uh, begin by, by saying You know, this is a mix of people from all industries And I think one of the nicest things about this group is that For example, Dulkar, who is Technically, from the Malayalam film industry, has got a big hit in the Telugu film industry, which is Sita Raman. Okay, yeah, uh, that's what he was. He is pretty much like he started off with a with a role in Vikram, mm-hmm. which is not a role, <laughs> and then he had a Viraman, and then uh, uh, he had a solo hit in Sadar, and then he had beers. <laughs> And you were just a little movie running thread through it, and then there's Srinidhi from KGF2, and then there's Varun Dhawan, Jug Jug Jio, Bedia, the werewolves scaring all of us right now. <laughs> and uh, there's Pooja, whose movies, which are the movies again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 <laughs> couldn't <laughs> couldn't <laughs> name one of her films. <laughs> From India. Indian oh. <laughs> it's it's good to do the research Yikes. before you interview people to know at least one of their creative outputs. Yikes. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm mixing up, but there was Radhi Sham and there was um, Acharya. Especially when she's a woman. Was, yeah. um, in Tamil, there was Beast, and now I'm ending the year with Circus. Yes. Right. Yeah. So you're pretty much like covering Circus out this year. I think. Yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> Circus comes out this year. And Anurag Kashyap. They are, are you best of friends now? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are in each other. We patched up 15 years ago, <laughs> yeah. and then he destroyed We can attest to that. Uh, and how was that? You may have heard of a film called Bombay Velvet. <laughs> 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 oh my god, it's a camera. Anurag speaks very highly of Karan Johar. I have to say, he's only one word faith, because prior to that, even directors in my own company weren't casting. He's the only one who came and took a part of me. I'm so sorry, Anurag. <laughs> Maybe it was me. Experience 10 days of Grand Europe trip for easy EMI of Oh, I hope we get 10 of these in the middle of it, don't you? Oh, jeez. South India's number one travel brand. Right. And, uh, jeez. Hemant is there. He's making Scared me. <laughs> big movie with Rakhti Shetty, can I say? Yeah. Yeah. Sapta Sagar. I'm, I'm sorry. Sapta Sagar Dache. Sapta Sagar Dache. So, you're... 
somewhere beyond the 70s. Oh, wow. Yeah, wow. somewhere wow. beyond the 70s. Very and nice so, teaser and all of it. Right, so, you know, you're following the footsteps of Kannada cinema into... <laughs> because this year, Kannada cinema has been the big story. Yeah. 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 You know, like, yeah. uh, that's been the, you know, uh, KGF2, Kantara, and then... No pressure at all. No pressure <laughs> at all, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, then there's Nipun, uh, who's uh, Nipun Dharmadikai, who made one of the, my favorite films of the year. Uh, and anybody who loves classical music, uh, especially Hindustani classical music, should watch this film. It's one of the greatest biopics ever made in India. Wow. And I'm real, so glad yeah, yeah. that your what film represents a term that I hate, which is regional cinema, because I think every cinema is actually, even Hindi cinema is regional cinema, yeah. but somehow we, we've gotten into this, this habit of labeling uh, non Hindi. Non Hindi, right? Yeah, non Hindi right. is a regional, yeah. For yeah. that, you know. What whatever. film are you but talking about? We have another representative from regional cinema, and that's Reema Das. She gifted me this. Uh, <laughs> this is very. Is she going to be there? Uh, I don't know. You know, thing. So, uh, Reema's. In spirit, in spirit. Oh, okay. Oh, that would have been cool to see her talk. Yeah, I would have loved to have seen Rima Das. Oh, now it's an ad for the Westin. Hopefully these are just the beginning. <laughs> uh, well, at least they're only spacing them two minutes apart. <laughs> So that's what you wanted to ask him. <laughs> right. You know, this has been the first year. Uh, it's too early to say what audiences are coming out to see. But at the same time, we've had enough of a like an inkling to say, okay, people are coming out for this, people are coming out for that kind of a thing. So what in your opinion has been uh, like something like you know is this is something that you put out and people are gonna come and watch it. Is is there something that you found out yet, or Anurag is shaking his head. He's I, like, I, I have, I'm the last person to have any clue of what works. Made things that doesn't work on that level. <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. In this sense, is either something very new mm. that's working for people, or something familiar that they want to revisit. Right. Yeah. It can be the filmmaker or the story subject, like Disham too. Right. Like you know that world people wanted to revisit. Right. Something that has grown over a period of time and then there's a sequel comes out or something that that is very familiar and they like it. Right. Or something that's totally new and I think everybody is literally I don't, I don't know which was one film that has opened to massive first day opening. Because everything somewhere is wonderful. In Hindi or uh in Indian, in, in, across. Yeah, KGF, R R R. KGF one built up KGF two. And then in Hindi, Brahmastra opened. Brahmastra. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they had big opening days. I think Pushpa had a big opening day too, didn't it? That was last year. Oh, that's true. That's true. PS one, R R R. PS one, R R R. Brahmastra, KGF two. Vikram. Vikram had a big opening day. Would you say that these are the like Karthi, would you say that like you had a so bull bull too as well, out, right? And then you had this or whatever this that film's Pony called. Servant coming almost back to back, like I don't know, maybe PS1. Yes, yes. Days, oh my uh, stars! Yeah. So what? PS1. Have you had learnings this year? Like this is the kind of stuff people are coming out to see. You know, I think um, it starts with the trailer, like what you are going to make mm. people expect from this film. And if you promise something and you give it, then it becomes huge. Mm -hmm. so I think the trailer Agreed. Has become a big selling. And the reverse is true. Yep. And that's a very good trailer. The trailer promises you something, a new world, a new characters, a new drama that becomes a big hook for people to come and say. So, because I see that, you know, when uh, like my Sadar's teaser comes in, there was a lot of discussion. Once the trailer came in, people were hooked to it. People knew there's something new to offer. I think the, the milieu that you're going to offer, the human drama which you're promising, has to be solid in the film. Right. So the trailer, I think, is one main selling point. Say, apart from the bigger films, you've also had <coughs> smaller as in smaller scaled, um, mm -hmm. like Jub Jub Jio, or uh, in Tamil there's uh, a film that I have to mention called Thiri Chetrambalam, uh, which are smaller in terms even, of... Even Love Today. Even Love Today, yeah, yeah, in Tamil, yeah. which are which are smaller in terms of like budget correct, or correct, whatever correct. it is, and then, but then it, they just broke out and like, you know, people love the, I mean, they, those are the kind of films that people said would no longer work because now people want to see only these big tentpole films, you know, like they only want to come out for a KGF or a... Or a uh, thing, you know, like whatever film, but that that seems to have. Uh, I, I guess of, they're missing uh, those kind of cinema also. 
Of course. Yeah. yeah. I think, um, you know, every time there is a trend and then everybody jumps on that bandwagon. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and then someone's like breaking out of it. So people find that refreshing. Mm -hmm. So it's, that, I think that's is that a, always been yeah, the thing. Yeah, okay. Yes, I mean, like, it's waves. I think, at the moment. Yeah. I think there's an Which audience is scary also. for everything, you know. No, I just feel the flavor, no? How oh, sorry, the flavor of flavor. Okay. Like that's why I said trailer. Because it gives a glimpse I like into these the edits of the film where we're seeing everybody. Yeah. Right. It might be a love story, but the characters that he's bringing into the film, or the world that you're taking into the film, I think that's very, very important. Might be a familiar story. Like Sita Rama might be familiar, yeah. but the way it is said, the way it is musically presented, the way the actors are right. presented, all that really matters. Right. What about uh, Marathi cinema? How does, I mean, how has the year been in terms of people coming to theatres? It hasn't been good. Uh, it hasn't been good for the past two, three years. Uh, since I think 2019, of course, pandemic did play a part. I think only one film turned a profit. Um, I mean, we did wow. get some numbers, but uh, one film turned a profit uh, uh, in theatrical businesses. Wow. And uh, but I think even um, as filmmakers, even one we have film. we haven't been very consistent uh, post. I think Sarah attend and a ventilator. But then we haven't been consistently giving uh, good films to the audiences. And now what has happened is that. Uh, Marathi cinema is not the number one priority for most of the Marathi people. Okay. So if they have a budget for uh, to go to the film, <coughs> they, uh, to the theatres, they would rather watch a uh, different film than watch a Marathi film. Usually, of course, there are some exceptions. I hope that you know we uh, continue giving better and better films and understand what the audience really wants. Uh, because I feel there is some kind of a disconnect right now between what they want and what we are making. Right. So, um, I mean, even with Vasant Rao, I, I like the fact that people like the film, you like the film. But um, unfortunately, it has not done the kind of numbers that uh, we expected it would. But the year has been a little rocky. Right. Yeah. Karan, what about uh, your experience with the whole Brahmastra, the pre the and the post? So, uh, I think um, <coughs> normalcy is back in most industries. Um, I think, I would say normalcy is back in the Tamil film industry, in the Malayalam film industry, in the Telugu film industry, in the Kannada film industry. And as uh, as Karthi said rightfully, it's Welcome. then dependent on the trailer, the teaser, the build up, the energy. And like if you see, uh, Telugu is known for a certain brand of cinema, but then Sita Ramam does so fantastically, you know. So it's like it all depends on they're open to all kinds of content. What's happening in Hindi is, uh, and probably even in Marathi cinema, the major bells, and I'm going to get slightly technical only so that everybody understands, that Bombay and Delhi, which accounts for nearly 60% or 65%, 60 to 70, depending on the film, of the audience, of the number that comes in, they haven't been behaving as consistently as it was pre-pandemic. Hmm. So what has been working has been only the spectacle films, even if they're dubbed films. Even if it's, if it's, uh, even if it's KGF, it's RRR, which have done humongous, like KGF, is a mammoth, <laughs> mammoth number. Yep. It's the only film in the 400 crore club. The last hit before that is 380 Dangal. Then comes KGF with 430 plus. There is, there is, and then the next it is Bahubali yeah, 2 and 512. Now both the 400 and 500 are both dubbed films in the Hindi speaking belt. Mm. Something that we have to all wake up, realize, academically understand. Right. The only four or five Hindi films that have made money um, have just been those, just four or five of those. Uh, everything else, and I'm not saying the films were good, not good, that's not my comment to make, but like the market has been behaving very erratic and not erratic that suddenly something like Drishyam, for example, everybody say, oh, dubbed films uh, you say don't work with Drishyam. Now there's an academia to Drishyam as well. Drishyam was hugely liked theatrically in 2015. Yeah. Right. Humongously satellite. loved on satellite. There is no Hindi dub of Drishyam right. online. Right. It's on, available only in, in a subtitle version. Mm -hmm. So the audiences that love the Drishyam As it should be. and feel the film didn't end there have watched it several times on satellite, relished it, enjoyed it, and <coughs> therefore the film opened to a 15 plus number, whereas all tracking meters were saying everything between 8 and 9. Mm -hmm. or eight, Nobody predicted this 15 number. And then the film was loved. That is a double whammy. And now the, the territories that are giving it the maximum business are, it's like Maharashtra, which has been behaving like not in the best manner, you know, post pandemic. The numbers, in, and I always know the center belt is the heartland and Gujarat step on board. 
to a film, then there's nothing stopping you. Right. Hmm. The moment those two territories are distant from your film, you can never do a very. He's such a producer. So Gujarat uh, he, and CPCI. And he's, he's so smart. Jump yeah. on board. I mean, and that's I, just the way the I'm, I'm, I have baited. I'm like, so I waited on bated breath when he talks. Yeah. Is, if you're doing a sequel or you're doing a remake, a sequel has to be loved on satellite. Then you'll get a number. Or if you're doing a remake, then make sure you don't have a Hindi dub available. Right. You know, that, mm -hmm. that, and otherwise just make good films. <laughs> 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 to kind of combat anything else. Right. Yeah. And good is so subjective. Like, good is subjective, but you have to know we have a pan-Indian audience now. We have an audience that doesn't just want, like there was a certain 70 crore club that existed. Kapoor and Sons, Mirja, Piku was 80, uh, there was lots of pink, there were a lot of these films at 70. Now the, that 70 is now 30. You have to accept it. Mm. You have to accept that is dropped. There's no such thing as a 70 crore club. Where high content, well appreciated, good high end multiplex films were giving you 65, 70, 75 crores, which was great at the box office. That is not happening right now, and I don't see that happening for a while. Right. Mm. When it comes to Kannada cinema, would you say that this is a consistent trend or do you think that we have jumped the gun by saying that that you know these two films are now representative of the new kind of reality uh, because one of the things i have been asked consistently across the year is you know please comment on you know how regional cinema has replaced uh, hindi cinema whatever it is i'm also looking at the number of because you know i'm, I'm aware of tamil cinema I'm aware of telugu cinema i'm also aware of how many flocks there are uh, that the numbers, the, I mean, people look at the two or three big uh, films and say, oh, wow, regional cinema is doing so well, but there are so many films that are not doing yeah. well. So, w what's that? I mean, is... No, I think what happens is when once a film sort of gathers momentum, like, for example, with KGF or with Kantara, there is a s natural sense of pride that the people of that land yeah. attract you, which yeah. feel, and they propagate it, and... The unique thing about Bangalore, which I which I feel is uh, which doesn't exist that much in other parts of the country, is the number of films from other languages yes. that release in Bangalore. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, multicultural. Yeah. Yeah. So the the Exposure. the inherent yeah. Kannada audience is dying to give it back uh -huh. in a, in in a sense. Yeah. 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 And like I remember from my and early days, what a give back is happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that we are sensitive. It's just that. You know, every single time I've come out for work opportunities long back, about eight, nine years back, people used to say Kannad. And I all I I used to go back Kannada. and people like myself, Rakshet, Rishab, Raj and so on and so forth, Prashant, all of us, we feel this need to yeah. just make people say Kannada. Yeah. Like at least take our language in the right way. Mm. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I think there is a lot of That, that makes that, sense. You know, we have to show what we can do. That is come into the system in a way, yeah. but at but at the same time there is also a lot of films are trying to ape are going to ape right. and yeah, that's about that that is going to happen. It's it's how the market yeah. functions. It's I like you know I the used to say that huh? yeah what happened because I, I I also feel you know this this narrative which is now there right now you know that suddenly uh, I I also hate using the word regional cinema but whether it's Kannada cinema Telugu Tamil Kannada cinema Kannada just, cinema, just, just, Kannada <laughs> cinema <laughs> Telugu or Tamil these industries are now seeing so much limelight. I think it's wrong because some of the biggest hits in Hindi from ages ago, I think when my dad was making films in the 90s, all those stories dad, nepotism. were remakes of either Tamil or Telugu films. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we are speaking about it now, but these remakes have always been the hits. So yeah. Whether it's Gajani, but Malayalam. Malayalam, so yeah. where's the writing coming from? We are borrowing, we are, Technicals. I mean, we are remaking legally, obviously, but we are yeah. taking the stories from there. So I feel what's happened in Hindi cinema, that there is a dirt for original stories. There is a dirt for good original stories. And we also, as, not me, but I'm saying, sorry, you're the only Hindi filmmaker here. Yeah. But I'm saying that the makers. Yeah, no, it was across the world. He's been doing original. But English yeah, English he, he is an original source. Yeah. So, uh, Absolutely. I said this is going. <laughs> no, what I mean is that we have not empowered our writers <laughs> and bad <laughs> them. No, no, no. I also think that, you know, speaking as an audience for the Kannada industry in terms of me being from Karnataka originally, you know, I'm from Mangalore, is that. Uh, we just want to be represented when you watch a film, right? You right. want to see yourself, you want to see your culture. Yep, right. and, Representation uh, matters. I think it's a film like Kantara, which was, what was really like, you know, Bhuta Kola is something we grew up with. I've seen that. I've, I've experienced that magic. Right. And to see uh, that represented in film was something that was like, 
wow, like, you know, yeah. people are going to know about us. People are going to watch this film and, you know, it, it's that magic also that was there. So I think that um, people are just waiting for that because I know my family, I'm saying like my grandmother and my, they wanted to go watch Kantara. They don't want to watch other films, but they wanted to go watch yeah, because yeah, they were like, yeah. it was like, let's all go, let's all go as a family to watch it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I actually completely agree with what Varun said and I think that the core issue is, and that includes myself, is that we come from an in, a mainstream industry in Hindi cinema which doesn't have one very strong quality which every other cinema mm -hmm. on this panel has, which is conviction. We kind of always go with the flow. So we mm. are going to academically break. Rubber we stamp. such an original voice with Salim Javed yeah. in the 70s. Yeah. 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 You know, we created a certain character and in fact, it was derived in other cinemas. The, the, the concept of this hero, that, that, which is mm -hmm. angsty and angry and on the, you know. And then in the 80s, suddenly something happened and there became a host of remakes. That's where the conviction loss started. We started remaking every film that was yeah. popular in Tamil. Well, it stopped being about storytelling. It was the birth of so it about profit. Yeah. yeah, it was about making money. And then suddenly, we, and there's an academia to this also. In the 90s, we discovered because there was there was literally one love story that was strong the nation called Hamap Ke Hai Korn. Mm. Everyone, including myself, uh, decided to jump on that bandwagon of love and Shah Rukh Khan was created. And mm -hmm. we let go of all our roots in the 70s. We went ahead with the 90s. And 2001, when Lagan was was nominated for an Academy Award, we were like, oh, now we must all do these kind of films. So right. So both of those kind of films. Look at Anya Rock. <laughs> yeah, versus just creating something you want to make. Khan, which is still a root of Lagan in my head and released alongside oh, wow. Dabang. Which again then went back, oh now mainstream is back in Gajni had done well in 2009, now let's start making commercial films again. That's the problem. We actually yeah. lack, and I say this more for myself, I'm not speaking for anybody else, we lack the spine and we lack the conviction and that's what we need to get from every other cinema on this panel. Very self-aware man. Really getting I love that like about him. The language aspect of it. I mean, I remember growing up watching Manisa's films, like, he was like, he made romance pan India, you know, mm -hmm. whether it was Bombay, whether it was, um, you know, Dil Se, whether yeah. it was Roja, yeah. Kamal Hassan sir, like we are grown up yeah, watching come on. films, uh, Nayagan was yes. one of my all time favorite films, so I feel like somewhere we kind of got into a Those are artists, like, they weren't thinking kind of box office as much as they were thinking story. Yep. Lies in um, the diversity of it, you know, that yep. there are insane writers in Malayalam cinema, you know, there's great technicians there in Tamil cinema. Only in Malayalam cinema. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, They're a great example to follow. I think if he no, got to that one. Also, I think another thing that I, in my analysis, I could be very wrong on this, is that for a very long period of time, uh, the heartland of India, the you know the working class, middle class, for them satellite consumption, mm. people yeah. moved to Netflix and people yeah. moved to Amazon. There's a huge number of people who are still watching cable television, yeah. Yeah. and all of them watched Hindi dubbed version of Telugu films, Tamil yeah. films, Kannada films. Yeah. And I I've I've seen those films where heroes from our industries mm. are mouthing dialogues in Hindi. Right. I'm very sure people somewhere are consuming that, yeah, which is, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The, no, no, which is why the the monies that are paid for yeah. your dubbed satellite, satellite uh, action film, if there is three fights, you will get this, you will four fights, you will get this. <laughs> is that a fact? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There, are, there are directors who go out and just compose fights yeah. because they can sell the dubbing rights of the film. That's, that's so, hmm. everything in the industry is dictated wow. by money, ultimately. Right. So, yeah. hey, so, this is after uh, KGF1, across North India and CPCI Rajasthan, the most popular actor was not a Shah Rukh Khan or Salman yeah. Khan. It was Rocky Bai. They yeah. did not know Yash's name. <laughs> and and even they saw all Rocky the, so much. All the remakes. Salam the, Rocky uh, Bai. Uh, <laughs> and all the you know action films. Right. The people actually identify those characters as themselves. Yeah. Because the heroes are rooted in that world. And also probably the the, the macho hero who went out of Hindi cinema for a yeah. while. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. I think I so I think when Rocky Bai came, he it was like really a voice of the masses it because it was really really, really in really yeah. Hindi cinema yeah. viewers. It was actually a, a bona fide return of that hero yeah. that mm -hmm. they've only seen Mr. Bachchan do. Correct. And that seven, Mr. Yeah. Bachchan's template is pretty much emulated across the nation but, now. Yeah. That swag, that yeah. dialogue, that yeah. walking with that yeah. 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 keeps saying he made all Amitabh yeah. 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 It was exactly that. And we, who who actually should be very grateful to Salim Saab and Javed Saab, who created this, we let go of that hero <laughs> and went yeah. to Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> that was good. That was fantastic. It's good. And self-aware. Absolutely. <laughs> Switzerland. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> And with globalization is Shah Rukh Khan were uh, hand in hand. So he became an aspirational globalization man. Right. And that's what happened in the 90s. Right. So that time it used to be, if you New York or London, you have a film commercial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, then you're famous. Today, if you say, we this in New York, they say, then we know, connect to India. Like, it's changed. Right. It's totally changed. We went from making films for India to now into films for Bharat. And that right. is what is really important. But hard. ultimately, I don't think that the, the, the narrative for the future should be us versus them. We are all together. He said that. He said, why can't we just call it Indian cinema? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. I felt proud when I, when I see KGF, I see Kantara That's doing the numbers. Exactly. Yeah. I see me proud when I see any Telugu and Tamil film work the way it You can I do both. You can say Indian cinema, cinema and give credit to the yeah. area yeah. it came from. Indian yeah. cinema from Canada. Yeah. Superstar actors, I mean, that have given us such great content. And they're such good actors and such strong actors that I'm always watching and feeling like, oh my God, like these directors are nuanced and commercial, a balance that somehow I don't know how to achieve myself as a very good When I saw Kaithi, I was so inspired. I was so inspired by his work, which I told him in person as well, and by uh, Lokesar's work. I saw that film and I was just like blown I think, away. great. Yeah, I actually, like, what a, what a the film. The prequel, the Vikram. Right, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. The way the character is written, the way the climax Yeah. And then obviously because the focus yeah, wasn't on just action. Yeah. And his, the way he played his character. And he was yeah. Yeah. Uh, the last time I met uh, Anurag, uh, uh, he's, I asked him if he'd seen Vikram. And he said, I haven't seen Vikram because I have to see Kaiti first, no? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I saw Kaiti and Vikram back to back. Oh, you know, you know, Same. That's what we did. Think, yeah. Also, there's an accountability, I think, uh, to critics that I think Hindi cinema has started taking more seriously. <laughs> Sorry, I know yeah. that's what you do. But uh, and but I think I'm also reading every review and I, at one point I think I die of are reading in my own <laughs> reviews, you know, because I feel like Talk I'm reading. Reading. Yeah, I'm <laughs> Watch the reviews. Like, yeah. <laughs> and any any critics out there, stop telling the story in your reviews. <laughs> so then I really removed one of them from then hired him on it. Who assembled this panel again? <laughs> Dulkar, I, uh, one thing that, that, I mean, one of the biggest crossing films, of course, you had your Sita Rama, but your dad had uh, uh, Bhishma Parvam, which yeah. was like this big, big, big success, uh, which is kind of like this swagger. I mean, of course, yes, it, as a film, it's, it's a mix of The Godfather and the Mahabharata, and the yeah, thing mix uh, kind of there, but it's also, it like, the, it doesn't leave the heroism out of it, right? Yeah. It's like yeah, the old time, you know, like you showcase the hero a certain way, which again, people are a little confused about right now. It's like, do we go back, like for example, you take a Salman Khan or something, you know, they're not anybody else, like, or, or the older heroes. I think there's a, there's a bit of a confusion now whether our audience is going to come for that, you know, that slow mo walk and the, you know, one step out of it. I think they did in KGF too. Really yes, they did. Where, where yeah. you, where you walk in droves. Feeling like the hero. Yeah. But I feel like I'm Michael. You know, and I think that's what uh, was, and I'm only the director. Unapologetically, unabashedly, he's like, this is going to be a kick-ass, like, style flick that we've yeah. missed for so long. Right. And, you know, my dad just completely, like, owned it. And we were missing, I got emotional for anything else. Like, I just seeing him uh, with swag, I was like, my God, I've missed this for so long. Like, yeah. we were going so into, like, realistic cinema. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously, he's enjoying playing all these different characters. But this is what we grew up following him for or like, you know, right. uh, being these fanboys of him and then suddenly you see a director finally projecting him the same way, his look and there's so much, so much of that high speed stuff, the fight, bold cameras and music, it, yeah. it, it was like a, I was just like this the whole time. <laughs> And I'm like, I'm like, I'm ready to cry. I'm like, <laughs> call the director. I'm like, I want to hug you. It's amazing you say that, Dilbar, because it's like, you know, the other industries are seeing, saying that Malayalam cinema is realistic and they're enjoying all this. And you're saying, you know, we wanted to, you know, this was a change. I'm, say, I'm saying too much of anything, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah. There's it, room for it, both. Yeah. Like we are, yeah. You, you, anything that breaks the clutter, right. anything that breaks the mold, 
that feels refreshing for you. Right, right. Right. So, uh, uh, respect to across the industry. Yeah, I think. But I love this whole cultural right, awareness right, we're yeah, all right. bringing Every to each other. Like, yeah. It is what you take from a success. See, the films that give you courage and the films that give you like this whole, they, they make projects like this whole. Say, for example, this Pan India thing. Mm. Like, I literally, I was talking to Nagraj. I said, you know that Sairat destroyed Marathi cinema. A success of Sairat. Mm. Because suddenly people realize that there's a possibility to make so much money. Mm. So suddenly the Umesh Kulkarnis and everybody else, right. they stopped making those The films. focus right. those came on money. Getting made. Right. And yeah. everybody wanted to emulate Sairat. Right. Yeah. With Pan India, what mm. is happening right now, is everybody is trying to make a Pan India film. Yeah. Mm. But the success will be 5 to 10%. Yeah. See, a movie like Kantara yeah. and Pushpa gives you courage to go out and tell your story. Right. Yeah. Tell your story. But KGF 2, what will be the success? When you try to emulate that and set a project up, yeah, you can't. That's when this, it starts heading towards disaster. Yeah. Right, but these that's are, the bandwagon these are, that yeah. Bollywood destroyed itself on. Yeah. So yeah. if you have to find films that give you right. courage. And, yeah. and I think that's why somebody like Rajamali stands out because yeah. he's like the first action scene in uh, yeah. RRR, yeah. it should not work logically no, because yeah. it's one man versus right. thousands of thousands set, of people. That action but when set piece, it, right? Yeah. No, you like, feel the thumb. Feel, yeah. Yeah, what yeah. an action yeah. set yeah. piece yeah. of yeah. RRR, you don't, don't know how somebody can imagine that when yeah. he comes yeah. with those animals. Yeah. And you know, oh. I think there's one thing that well, I, I remember. You know, that was after, uh, collectively the theatre went, <gasps> You know, yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah, like going back to the circle. You know, yeah, one, one, thing visual, like that. one thing that very yeah. Jason Bloom, when he made his first horror movie, Bloomhouse, and became a success, he said the only mistake I don't want to do is based on success, keep increasing my budget. Yeah. Yeah. He has not changed his way of making films. Right. Yes, he still makes films yeah. in extremely controlled budgets, yeah. and with 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 all the back ends, with everybody getting money out of it. Right. When the film becomes success, and he's consistently delivered successes. Yeah, but I, I feel like we start losing judgment. Like when he said, this is something that we start losing even, judgment. Like say for example, Kantara now if, uh, starts changing the way the shit, Rishab Raj <laughs> and Rakshit they start making films and they start making that big budget film with an eye on the box Bye. office mm -hmm. that it is exactly that will become a problem. Yeah, yeah. No, everyone, everyone, everyone thinks now has to be the same. Oh, everyone think thinks the, now if it's a pan Indian film, you're you're just throw a lot of money at it. Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and that. In all these films, no, has worked in their market so yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. Well. Just so there's no film there. all over India, but first their market. Right. Like Point Seven worked seven. brilliantly in Tamil Nadu. Yeah. yeah. If it had not worked here and worked elsewhere, yeah. 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 It, was, it was made for that audience. Exactly. Yeah. You cannot yeah. engineer yeah. something for Indian films. That's what. Films, films for we, Telugu audience. Yeah. Yeah. And then it works. Pan India Marathi film. I was yeah. getting a call that bring us a big subject. You have to make a big budget Marathi film, which is Pan India, but. My first thought to them, let, let's make a pan Maharashtra film first. Right. Let it work mm. in was Maharashtra it first. It was, but it's it's been six years now. Okay. But that, that was again like always made for Marathi cinema, right? Right. Yeah, and exactly. I think, I think that's I think what exactly. you do that a film has to belong to yeah. the place that it comes from yeah. first. It has yeah. to belong. Yeah. 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 And then it can grow outwards from there. I mean, yeah. You can't yeah. start out as a project. You have to start out as Indian a Indian cinema is so unique. Like, you know, in, yeah. in Tamil, Telugu, yeah. Kannada, Malayalam. But are you? Do, have you yeah. gone there? Are you checking dubbing? Are you checking uh, <laughs> language texture? Yeah. How, because you just can't outsource yeah. this. Yeah. And, do, and that's what right. Happened. Like you know, we, we went through the beats in Brahmastra. We go to like Ayan and his team. They diligently sat on every exactly. kind of beat on that. There's a very funny story. When uh, uh, R G V told me this recently. R G V Karan was from very good friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah actually. Yeah. So R G V told me amazing story. R G V said, when I made Satya. I was inspired by Govind Alani. I said, Govind Alani was such a great filmmaker, I need to commercialize him. So I made Satya. Prashant Neil in his interview said, I thought Rajvi was a very good filmmaker, I need to commercialize him. And, <laughs> 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 and Rajvi said, I'm waiting for that filmmaker who says Prashant Neil was a good filmmaker, I want to commercialize him. <laughs> it's only up and up. Yeah. Yeah. So Shiri is when, when the first KGF happened, right? Uh, you know, even then with Prashant, like what was his conviction? Like that was your 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 big your yeah. break. What was it like being around those people, making that one film that would put Kannada film uh, uh, end up doing that? But of course, at that point, you didn't know that. Yeah. What was it like? So I'll tell you. I mean, when I I met the team, it was not even one and two. It was just KGF. And I knew that this brilliant team together trying to make a movie. Obviously, they had uh, put it out back then that it, it is going to be a high budgeted movie. So we knew that it is going to be on a larger canvas. But obviously, we didn't know it will cater to such wider audience. We wanted to do a great, brilliant movie for Karnataka audience. And that's how we started also. Probably midway, somewhere there, then they saw the outputs and the rushes and they're like, okay, this is coming out really good. But still, we did not think about Pan India back then. 
we thought, okay, let's just keep doing and all of that. We decided to divide it into one and two. Chalo, we can't stuff everything in one no. part. Let's make it that. And then I think even Prashant, I, I'm sure you've spoken to him already. So even he did not think about making it as a pan Indian movie. It's um, a Rocky by <laughs> Yash. I think he came up with the idea that this is brilliant and we need to. So that's how once the content was ready, once the product was ready, that's when the distributors Decision produced came it. About. Yeah. So I all, like he rightly said, you should not start out with telling that let's do a pan India movie. Yeah. First, have your content yeah. right, finish it, then you sit and watch with the team, and you now you think that will this run uh, throughout the Indian yeah, audience? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is it it's okay? Yeah. So yeah. it is about the content and the way you make it. So rather than starting out, let's do pan India, let's do pan it's always India. content I first. Think, yes. Yeah, yes. Not the language. Yeah, yeah, you know, now yeah. people come and they're like, we'll shoot it in two languages. And I'm like, no, you yeah, know, yeah. it's not needed. Yeah. No, like, <laughs> it's not. Like, like, <laughs> um, it's not. I agree. The worst thing you can do. The worst thing you can do. Have you done those? And it's yeah. like, it's like shot by shot. shot. Like, you, you know, you and. It's done many it's like the, the order of the. Of, no, I'm serious. Like, <laughs> you know, I, I've done, I've done, I've done films where I have to talk a lot. Like I'm a talkative yeah. person. <laughs> and what happens is this order in each language is different. The content might be the same, and your brain kind of processes it in one particular order, which might be even English from somebody like me. And there's a Tamil order, and they call cut, and they'd be like, oh, now you know Malayalam, whatever. <laughs> And that order again get jumbled, and it's just a harrowing. It's experience. insane. And at the end of it, same emotions and everything. You and you are so mechanical in somewhere. Right. One of the languages is constantly taking a hit yeah. in every take. Right. Mm. And they're never the same films because you're saying the same oh, thing. Right. It can't be. Doesn't want to say it again. You know, because like languages have their own power also, right? Yes. Like, uh, a line like in Hindi, I would say it as "Mujhse pyar karoge to mar jaoge," but in Telugu, the the word that they use for "mar jaoge" is "chasta." Which is more powerful. So when you're emoting, you're emoting the line in a different way. Yes. So two different films, but wow. at the same time, they're, are... they're the same. But uh, it's it's very so like unique. Some scenes Indian cinema. Like, oh, I did it better in Hindi, and then mm. Telugu. Some, and then then I look, do Telugu, and it just flowed because I wasn't thinking about what I'm saying or about how I'm saying it. So they're very very different films, and I feel like magic happens only once in certain scenes. If it's an yeah. emotional scene, if and that you replicate the magic, I mean, yeah, dubbing itself is is, yeah. is a it's, replication of that moment which right. you can never do. You can never get it. Which okay. is why dubbing is it's why we hate it dubbing. To me, you know, we do an emotional scene, yeah. and then until I finish dubbing, you know, that emotion doesn't leave me. Yeah, yeah. Only when yeah. I finish it, it goes off my heart. It's still inside you. It's, I it's have to keep it because you have to re replicate yeah, that moment you've been You know, one thing is, I actually want to ask everyone over here: Do you all feel post-COVID? Is it only consumer behavior that has changed? That means the audience coming to theater, or do you think it's also the economy at large to? The economy at large is a part of that. Theatrical, oh yeah, because theatrical worldwide is diminishing. It's yeah, both. it's it's both. It's both. Talking about this rattling in India and Hollywood is, you know, you have, yeah, yeah. on its way up. So I mean, you have to keep that in it's mind, the right? Same thing. Yeah, it's the it's what has happened in those two years and more for many, uh, where they they their consumption pattern was totally different. different. They they sat and got used to watching content on their mobile yeah. phones, on their televisions, yeah. either cable TV or the yeah. streaming platforms. They started calibrating their heads in that. Yeah, it's like why people don't. Why I people aren't. There is an economy jobs are having a hard time finding people to work. They've changed the way they work. A community visit. You don't go very rarely. Yeah. The percentage of people who go alone or in twos is very tiny. You go in a, either in a group. Your friends or your family. Many people do the mathematics in their house and they said we can probably say watch two or three films in the year with the result and we also have this backup of watching content at home. So why should we go and watch a film that is not a spectacle that I can enjoy at home? So it's then like the moment 6, you make a film though. tiny, yeah. you make a film small, Especially if you don't love it. Not watch it at yep. so how do you explain the success of suppose like a love today? In Dublin yeah. cinema. Actually, so this word, the 20 year old has more power today. Yeah. Uh, we have to beg for money. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, kids have a lot of money in their hand and they are choosing what they want to watch. Yeah. And they are ready to go and watch a 4 o'clock show. Earlier, 4 o'clock shows used to be one or two shows in Tamil Nadu. Now, there are 120, 200 shows in 4 o'clock shows. It's and it's only youngsters. But the ticket rates are lower, right? You know, they also, I know in Hindi cinema, the seat prices, the ticket rates change based on where you're sitting. Oh, wow. Like a, like in a theater for an actual play. Yeah, you can spend less for worse seats. And also the costs are lower. They don't have marketing costs like we have. 
One of the many reasons I'm not active like I used to be on social media. I'm always being bombarded by my team being like, yeah. please put no, an organic I post. Please put <laughs> an organic but post. Intro, okay, but this is green tea. <laughs> <laughs> but the introverted but, me loves that, that these guys like, you know, I want to be that. <laughs> Just sit and like, go do my work. Go sell, show up. Oh, hello, set. Instagram game is here. Sir is here. Because <laughs> <laughs> in every interview, I listen, everybody says his name. That it's well, I don't know why. Well, well. But you're like this is a, you, you have, know it, marketing so I like using, no I just started using yes, Instagram 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 Instagram. Instagram. what is this Insta game yeah you like Insta game I've got game insane. in life probably she refused me like sixteen times I feel, like, I feel uh, Instagram or generally social media in terms of I don't think as a civilization we have figured out how yeah. the algorithms are affecting us. Like everything that. Oh, we I know. Like <laughs> the other day, I was looking for. Uh, it's terrifying. I was having a conversation I love with it. my wife about it. The next day, I have Instagram you, ads about it. Right. You bet you so did. It is an eco chamber that we are being forced to. Yeah. So please, I, like, we had something I, happen I yesterday that's just straight up terrifying. Ever. No, but what I do is I intentionally. I'll explain it later. Uh, follow people who who I fundamentally disagree with. Politically or otherwise, oh, wow. <laughs> just to get a balanced perspective. Because otherwise, I don't know what's you happening on the ground. Yeah, that's a very good yeah. point. Because yeah. you, you tend can, to you hear in a bubble. Yeah. You, you, you <laughs> better go and start following some people now. <laughs> I know, but I also think and, and not all of them are unreasonable. Okay. Not you know. No, it's they just differ in view. Very different approach, huh? Like very different approach. Of which I just want to put this open. Like like now, this big narrative has become certain films are you know you know. Hindutva versus the non-Hindutva brigade, and even a film like uh, RRR, for instance, a lot of people, you know, you know, were attacking it for these reasons. Uh, so, so the thing is, do you think that, on that has kind of changed the narrative a bit about certain, uh, like, like films about how they're viewed, and or is there just like a bunch of like so article writers? There are two kind. Uh, there's a filmmaker who actually believes in something, and if he puts his belief out, there's an honest film there, right? Yeah. Right. The problem are these opportunists who think this is a wave, and if we jump on that wave, right, it is, then then what right. happens is like exactly we'll get funding, we'll get back in, it's we'll waves. access to the powers to be able to that. Those are the problems, right? Those are the problems, right? It is not. There's some films that actually come from a belief system. Like my my theatre teacher was a staunch uh, Swam Sevak, right, right, but he never imposed anything on anyone. At one side. I started doing theatre with a group which was extremely left, which was Janati Mujh. Then going to Dubai Ji, who was a staunch swam sir. Then going everywhere and we were impressionable. Na? So one day you're a leftist, second day you're capitalist, third day you become <laughs> because you believe in anything and every ideology looked like, oh my god, why died little children? Like, oh my god, yeah, let's believe in something. Right. You know, right. we were like that. So problem is not there. Problem is not if you really believe in something and you're putting it out there. Problem is most of these opportunities they use it and they, the way they use it, uh, then it becomes propaganda. Right. So mm -hmm. count, and exactly. Also, it's a counter propaganda. Right. So the point is that some people say that the diminishing ticket sales, especially in Bollywood, is That's because of like like this this opposing point saying that Bollywood is too left. Leaning and that's which, is, which is not true at all. I don't think no, that, which is not Bollywood is most capitalist. <laughs> 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 no, a lot of it is just 
ridiculous and it is just theories and conspiracy theories yep. that can keep happening and going on and on and on. People want to watch your film, they're going to watch it. Nobody's targeting Bollywood. Yeah. Because if that was true, yeah. then why would a film yeah. open to 35 crores yeah. at all? Yeah. Like, yeah. Nobody is being so like, I'm Bollywood yeah. but not for this person. I'm Bollywood, I'm anti-Bollywood. No. And I mean, I see these trends and they're Bollywood bashing. I'm like, there's nothing. We make great films. They will do phenomenal business. Yeah, it's yeah. You don't make a good film, it's not going to be an not. A, we don't have, I tell you one, we don't have a Unless you're Lao Singh Chada. Yeah. We used to have. There was time where they were like, yeah, on the writing on a superstar, we'll watch even a substandard film. That's not going to happen. Yeah. Even a superstar has to deliver a super product. Yeah. No, that's because I think the cost of going and watching a film, that's not only money, in much. terms of time. Time. Like whether the traffic. Everything is available. And, you know, to weather the traffic, to make sure you get to yeah. the theater, pay the parking guy. It's like, it, it is a task. It is not, it is not You're something. not going in unless you've heard great. Word of mouth is a huge tool. Yeah. And first trailer. Yeah. Uh, you so have, uh, until unless you are sure that film is very good, people are not going to go. Yeah. Or something they've been waiting for. But also exactly. her, because of the trailer, because of the Also her director, audience because watches of probably, you watch Hollywood cinema, or you watch like their shows and stuff. So you have to watch your favorite shows on Amazon and other streaming but channels. We're still talking about a very privileged audience. But I'm saying there's an yeah, India that audience that is not going. They are so definitely not, it's not going. Like that's like it's just about picture nature, chal rahi hai, but I'm like, how is the film? Ha, thik thik. Yeah. So, it's yeah, not good. good. People are going to see it, like he said. It's yeah, not yeah, like... The thing is that everybody has become a box office site. Yeah. <laughs> everybody is reporting. They ask. In first, they ask. No. Do you tell you is it hundred crores? I, I mean, <laughs> have you seen the film? Have you liked the yeah. film? What do yeah. you think of the film? I mean, but it's become like a sport. It it's like, it's like, yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like all that matters is the box office. You, you have your team yeah. and you you to make good things. And you know, it can destroy your mind yes. when you have yeah. people tell you, little week in Bengal, but then you start wondering, why is it week in Bengal? <laughs> <laughs> it may be week in Bengal, they didn't like your film, maybe another great life. Why is it doing well here? Why is it not doing That single screen, multiplex, you're just getting all this information. As a filmmaker, you can be under an MRI if you listen to all the But all films do well on OTT. Right. Yeah, that too we can say on our number one. Everyone says. Very interesting. You know, your numbers are a big part of your life, right? It's like, I mean, yes, one part of your life says, I want to make good movies, whatever, however we define good. But there is another part of your life that is very dependent on the numbers. What you have to look at them. That is important. Right. Like, like well, what Nipun said, no? It's not a project, it's a film. Right. So when you approach it as a good film, and then you the focus is more on delivering the film right. Right. You know, from the process right. you say yes, until it comes to the theater, there's so much happening between it. Right. You know, there's a, like Satraj sir pointed out saying, at every point there's an effort to spoil that story. Wow. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, at every point, a new actor comes in, or an, on an AD, or maybe a sound guy, or maybe a camera. <laughs> Anybody could just uh, one take it away from that vision. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's right. so important to deliver it as a film that you imagined. Yeah. Right. No, and so you then, want to tell. On, the numbers rather focus on giving the good product. Are you yeah. satisfied with it? Sure, but yeah. when you're making something like Pondi and Sarvansi, right. which is like a big number project from the beginning, isn't there a bit of fear? I mean, I'm not, not talking about you, yes. but with my Ratnam, with every Sri Kripasar, the whole, the whole team, they come, uh, you know, like everybody. Because you're trying to do something and it's a big number. Uh, similarly, Brahmastra, like it's, you're trying to do something. Uh, like you're, you're investing a lot in that particular movie. And time also. Right? Isn't the, the number going to be... See, that's what, it's again the conviction on the story yeah, that you that's, have. That's the key word. Now, how much the story inspires you to do it? How can they go and take a KGF and make it so big? Because Yash believed in it. Right. He said this is going to be big. Like that, you know, when you make a film, you know you are inside the film. Right. Yeah. You're taking that scene. You know here I clap when I listen to the narration. You know this, when it comes out, like this is going to be great. Right? You know... the work and the time a team and an artist yeah. has given. So, uh, you know, I heard it when I was, I was hosting the event and I said, you waited that long and didn't do anything. Six years, two movies. Yeah, wow. two years, two movies. <laughs> now that is, the, the similarly, yeah. like uh, on Bahubali 1, when Rana and Prabhas gave all their time and the rest of the cast. Right. Yeah. Austin yeah. And Butler so dedicated three years, years of his life to Elvis. I saw that. <laughs> yep. Uh, so 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 it was, was worth it. <laughs> he didn't know it at the time. Over two decades. Wow. So he's put on 22 kgs and he's carrying that weight. And, and, and that's one of the reasons no, he, didn't want, he couldn't come to this uh, yeah. uh, panel because, <laughs> wow. you know, like he said, I'm just so exhausted working on this film. That <laughs> so yeah, yeah. 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 Said, like, before yeah. KGF won, Yash, had, Yash was in Bombay. Before the film had come out, with every, with, 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 no, with, no, with, it was in Bombay no, with KJ also. Yeah. His belief and faith, because he has walked, come to my office also and met me, right. saying you have to see this film. Right. Because uh, yeah. when uh, I, Excel went and picked up the film, 
finally and released it. Kaat but that hai. conviction that he had was right from the beginning before it came out. Right. No, but see, the thing is, we're talking about success stories. There was one called Ayrat Clover. Three years we sat on the film, like what she said. I had given three years and all of us gave that time. So again, you have to come back with the satisfaction of giving something good. Mm. You keep worrying about the numbers and the result of the film, you can't live through it. Right, right, right. You have to enjoy that process. Even, Even our, our, our film took around nine years to make. But, but I mean, of course, Talk we, to we did do other stuff. Karan Johar about Brahmastra. Uh, uh, there yeah. was... What took that much time? Like the money. Putting the money together. Yeah, the money, putting it's yeah. always the thing, yeah. The uh, timing. I had not it's not the film filming. Film then. Uh, Spielberg has had to wait years on projects. Film then. We had done theatre uh, by uh, by then, but we, uh, we hadn't done a film and uh, nobody believed in us at all. And uh, now that I think of it, it's, it was a question of four, four and a half crore rupees. But still, we couldn't get it together. Uh, but once it started, the kind of work that we could do in those uh, years, the kind of pre-production that we did, it all showed um, uh, in the film. And um, uh, I think that is why, you know, a, a few people uh, liked it. Okay. okay. Yeah. Brahma sir, taken so much time. Right. Yeah. 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 Every, yeah. every time I could think of the filmmaker, I could think of the actor behind yeah. it, the yeah. producer behind yeah. it. Last film and ten years between Ten years. Yeah. 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 But again, not necessary because you've taken five years, the movie has to be hit. Yeah. I mean, in the sense, yeah. you know? No, I, yeah. 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 conviction on the story. Yeah. No, but I think... I think, I think no, no, because conviction. the Cobra, I mean, we also give three years there, but audience did not take it the way we expected. Yeah. It doesn't mean we did not, we did not passionately work, work on it or work hard. We did. Maverick? So, yeah, it's... it's Actually, yes, yeah, but it's because Cruz never got a story he believed in. Period. A film which is made with conviction. Yep, that's why Maverick works. Yes, yeah. It can also fail, but a film without conviction can't succeed. Yeah, that's so. not possible. It's one, one I think option. that is one, yeah. one rule. Yeah, also, I think the filmmaker has a voice, right? Yeah. And you know, to yeah. di di uh, go and uh, suddenly follow the norm or follow the narrative of that moment yeah. and go away from your core voice and conviction is going to show up. Right? Yes, no. yes, no, 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 I think what, like, what Karan said, like, like. Uh, Earlier, maybe we used to have a forgiving audience yeah. where they'd say, <laughs> Not anymore. Oh, you know, so I'll watch anything. So you know, just Mr. Bachchan's films, there were some that were possibly not to the standard of what he's created, but they were phenomenal successes because they went in to watch Amita Bachchan no matter what. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, it was also a single screen world. There wasn't these multiplexes. So just pure data tells you that Agnipath, released in 1990, was, mm. was given the status of a flop film. I had more footfalls. Then the Agni was released in 2011, which was called a hit film. Oh. But the, uh, the flop film had bigger numbers. Yeah. So it's oh, wow. walking in. Yeah, uh. it was just that the numbers, ticket, ticket prices, multiplexes, gives you the status of a hit. That was considered a flop film. Right. So, uh, going back to another point that uh, Hemanth raised, you know, everybody keeps talking about how OTT has taken away the sheen of the theatre, but the penetration of OTT is real. Is it really that much? OTT platforms are definitely not coming in the way of theatrical business. In fact, I would go as far as saying that the existence of OTT mm -hmm. platforms means the empowerment of writers. Yes. Means the empowerment of more creatives. Writers. And I think cinema can only benefit. I agree. There is no loss of audience. I agree. There is yes, perhaps an upper crust loss, which were never contributing to very high numbers, right, anyways. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that narrative is incorrect. Mm. Like, oh, low OTT, we know. The real audience that is actually, we may be losing out to, is the, is the cable television audience, is the, is the satellite audience. They, yes, I can say, are feeling, okay, but we'll wait five months, we'll see. It. No, we network have, television is the place that's getting hurt by OTT. Rather, yeah. You know, spend it on more important things than watch a, a feature film. That is a loss, not the OTT platform. Yeah, actually, I think they're, they're actually helping for us. Why does he have a big way? I think like Malayal, I'm sure it's very good. Why does he have a huge way, OTT? Yeah. Because they're able to yeah. see a yeah. legal version. Yeah, yeah. Like earlier, you were consuming MP3s on internet and movies on internet. Yeah, and it's a beautiful like, place when you can't get to a film for whatever reason, you'll get to see it on OTT. People just download my films and watch it. We've got a bigger budget now thanks to OTT. It's given us one more one more revenue stream. There's more work. Otherwise we we have what theatrical in Kerala, maybe the Middle East. Right. And a satellite number. Now we've got one more. Which is really helping us be a little braver in our choices, or tell a little slightly larger story, or tell most whatever it is. Uh, Nipun, you wanted to say something. No, and I believe that the theatrical infrastructure, at least in Maharashtra, isn't that great, except for Pune, Mumbai. Uh, the number of theatres available, it's uh, it's quite uh, disappointing, to say the least. Which is it is great in uh, uh, the southern part of India, but uh, in Maharashtra, it's not that great. So I believe OTT and, and cable television plays a huge part 
and uh, one of the factors also is that uh, most of these actors are available on all formats mm. you can see them in in plays you can see them in movies and you can see them on television as well so selling a film becomes even more difficult after a point of time because um, I, i'm not getting the point you, most of the actors are in plays and they they are in plays as well so you can see a very good actor but that's a very small audience right a theater or actually theater is doing very well it's doing very well extremely well it has always been the key thing in my yeah it has and uh, there are that's encouraging seven or eight plays that are i mean there are 17 or 18 odd plays that are doing uh, the rounds in maharashtra right now and seven eight of them are super hits oh so mm. i mean one show might uh, just get you four or five Five lakh rupees for the uh, producer, which is a very good number. So, um, uh, but so that's the thing that in uh, Marathi plays that I mean, you can see uh, an actor in a Marathi play. You can see him in a Marathi. He does television also, and uh, he does films that's also. That's interesting. So, yeah. yeah, that is interesting. But yeah. the flip side is also the fact that they are too so, accessible. Yeah. So you really have to make. They can't draw the audience. You, to the, the draw. I don't think other than Nagraj or maybe Anana, we have a star star per se. Okay. The star TV system TV is dying TV. anyway, around the world. The way has increased the number of people watching. People movies. just want good content. More yeah. people yeah. started watching movies, yeah, yeah. and But especially the pandemic also. Yeah. Right. Even writers, pandemic. even in Kannada, like he said, Kannada exactly. industry. Exactly. 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 People exactly. started watching so many films. Now they started watching. Yeah. No, they're not watching each other's films. I've yeah. seen you somewhere. You look familiar <laughs> because there are people who don't know you. You have to accept yeah, that. But those people have also started watching films because of OTT. And I think it's also because the dub versions of of them. You can see a film. I don't know about like let's say Kaidi for instance is it available in Hindi uh, right yeah, now? Replace like, all dubbing with subtitles on YouTube. On YouTube, on YouTube. YouTube, YouTube is huge. huge. It's bigger than yeah. YouTube. Yeah. YouTube is yeah. huge. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger than YouTube. Because I, I, I was speaking to uh, Bushkan Gayatri because the Vikram Veda was a, was a success in Tamil but not so much in in uh, in Hindi and they said one of the reasons was because. A dubbed version was uh, already, already available. Already available. Yeah. See, which is Drishyam yeah. and Drishyam. Uh, the the Hindi film is a superb film. It's I absolutely think it's going to do phenomenal business. Drishyam two. Drishyam two yeah. in Hindi, but there is no Hindi dub available, mm. and therefore people the back the uh, brand value of Drishyam is so strong yeah. through satellites yeah. that th that is the logic for their opening. No, and the film is good. Drishyam was remade in China as a film, and it did two hundred million dollars. <laughs> Drishyam is as a Chinese film because it's a good story. On remade story, on remade in China, Drishyam did two hundred billion dollars as a Chinese film because they just did not make it all the way. Like you can't yeah. stop watching it because it's just intriguing. Yeah, it's a it's a good story. It just captivates your attention. That is right. the brilliance right. of that writing. That is there's a very fervent element to it in the sense that as an audience, which is why I love it because. You want the family to succeed in covering up this murder. Yeah. <laughs> I think you're rooting for them. It's true. It's like it's like rooting for Jamie and Cersei. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, that's actually the antagonist is set so bad. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The antagonist is made so bad that you know you. That's what happened to Nang Mohan Law also. Like the end of yeah. it, yeah. I'm burying them alive, <laughs> but people are cheering. <laughs> so get rid of them. Everybody is in this. Yeah. What if this happens to me? Situation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where yeah. this guy is actually evil. Yeah. And if me and my family exposed to yeah. it, like, I, I would do that. Protect. 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 Right. And beautifully made. Right. Beautifully right. shown. Just that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That 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 emotion of a co-worker. Yeah, exactly. No, and also emotion that is deeply identifiable to the nation. Right. Like you do a a strong father-son story. In the world. It's very rarely that that film will fail. Then again, if you take an emotional, if you take a husband-wife story, if you do it right, the history of cinema will tell you that there have been only hit films on those genres. Absolutely. But but tell me, uh, Karan and I. I mean, all of you, uh, you may choose not to answer this question if you don't want to. But, but let's take the bond between friends. Yeah, is a very resonant emotion. Yeah. But Unchai has not really, like, like kind of performed the way. Does it have a good story? What Unchai actually could have been given the climate and what it has achieved. I'm just saying, let's look yeah. at it as a club. Like I told you, the new 70 crore club is now 30 crore. So Unchai is 30. But I trust me, this is the film that has suffered. Because this is the film that would have, like the Pink, like like uh, like Pink. Piku, like Kapoor and Sons, Nirja, Unchai was falling very beautifully into that bracket. 
this film has suffered because this is the film that people will like this type be, of film. this type of film which is emotional bonding human drama slice of life a combination of all uh, that is the reason but why. isn't there a contradiction there because you're at, at the one hand you're saying if the emotion is right then no but that that is uh, emotion has to be backed by a certain kind of packaging also okay mm -hmm. like emotion like you and i are just talking to each other emotionally <laughs> at home uh, nobody is <laughs> going to watch the movie it can be very emotional it has to be, it be very right. real but also there is emotion has to be resonant in a way like for example uh, kabir singh had so many um, you know polarizing views but it was made with that music with that abandon with that scale it was given that that's why the, and that and good that performances and, and there were women and men who criticized it but obviously the numbers were so large because it was made like that it's how you do even that connective emotion right of a of misogyny perhaps you know which is like what is not that misogyny should ever be connective but at the end of the day there are men who is like are i'm like this yeah. you know and uh, i want to watch because uh, because he's an ashik that's how they were looking at it not seeing the underlying kind of layers of misogyny but, uh, but that's why it kind of worked in the numbers it's not possible to do the number other yeah, and i i would say not misogyny part but like when you talk about the scale part sita ramam is is another example yeah. because on the one hand is just a love story yeah, but yeah. at the same time the way it was mounted the way the letters came into play the the emotion of like of a, of a, of a man and a woman being in love but but with that little twist of letters and with that other twist that we were yeah, really all about it i was so glad that it's such a big hit because it reminded me of like what yash uncle as yash chopra yeah. would have done with a story i mean it gave me that feeling and i'm so glad it came like that Top today scope, right you know? yeah. Yeah. Like, again i mean i the all uh, like sapna the producer <clears throat> uh, ashni dad garu they had the conviction mm. to mount it like this whereas i and i i come from malayalam mood and i'm always a little i'm a producer also i'm always a little conservative as to you know i'll be worrying if if we break a scat and i'm like what about interest cost like my brain works like that oh. and uh, you know they be like oh we're shooting this song in gujarat only gujarat okay we're going to uh, you know kashmir we're going to spiti and it just kept getting bigger and bigger and i'm like at the core of it is still a love story right and i remember actually karan uh, we had a conversation once and you were like you know that genre is just dead Yeah, you know, people don't come to the cinema to watch. What love story? Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, wow, they're showing so much conviction in this genre, which at least statistically proves it goes to say. It made me happy. Yeah, exactly. This particular genre has is really lying in some dormant. Yeah. 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 So that's a, that's a cinema. That's a cinema that actually made me. So I'm like, are ya? Nobody's watching. <laughs> yeah. So, so, so all you know, all props to them for having that conviction to, so to go. So when, when the narrator reviewed Dilkar, was it like because when the story narration comes, yeah. did they already have a scale narration as well? Like as in, no, like I heard it first in nineteen. Uh, it also evolved over the past two years. A lot of the the new twists and all came into play later. But I always saw it like that. We saw it as. period and this you know royalty and army that. and kashmir i, I saw the big i saw all of that i mean for me anything is big come on like where i come from yeah. <laughs> anything yeah. is uh, this kind of a a story itself seems big so i'm like wow you know i'd love to be a part of this world i mean how they going to mount but i'm also banking on the team that made mahanati mm -hmm. which also for me was a large film like a big canvas and they were again betting blindly uh, into that subject matter and and a group of youngsters who i don't even who probably won't even exposed to savitri garu in her in her prime yes. but they they picked up a subject like that and were so passionate about it and and they bankrolled it and pushed you know to make and make tell that story over so much time and over so much set work and all the stuff right whereas i growing up uh, you know when i was young you, we would see these kind of epic period films in all of our industries and then kind of the the business changed so much especially in malayalam that we could never imagine mounting a period film right mm. it's the uh, thing that happened with lagan actually it's like everyone thought amir and ashutosh were mad because uh, they were making a film period first it was like a bad word it was yeah. like period film meaning block film like it was not upar se uh, it's about some angrez and the heroes in a dhoti that was the <laughs> other one like you know and it is about like cricket and some angrez and it is how some village like everyone thought like what the hell is he making you yeah. know it's literally what the hell is he making 3 hours 40 minutes yeah and it was 3 hours <laughs> 42 minutes i mean like literally that's like the longest you going to the, the day come out in the film ever in the history <laughs> i know kabhi ki 3 hours 32 like these are 8 minutes more but i think at that point in time it broke all the myths like yeah. you were saying like it broke every myth 
Like it was a period film. The hero was so, like yeah, the film was too long. Like, I kept saying, "Are hero dhoti mein kaise bhi chalegi?" And like, you know, it was like so <laughs> stupid. It was like all these things that we make in our head. Right. Like we are told, like you know, titles are unlucky and all that nonsense. You have to hear, you know, yeah, and like yeah. you don't release in Shraddh. Yeah, ho jayega. Like you know, now we can't find a release date because there's Tamil, Telugu, Kannada, Hollywood, and we're like sitting here, but we can't come with anyone because everyone is an opposition. Now. One thing that you mentioned about the the key word that we keep returning to. I think is conviction. Yeah. Because Ashutosh and Amir had that that yes. that conviction and that this crazy movie is going to work. Every single person thought they were mad. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. the direction the of the conviction. Out. Yeah. And they converted cinema halls into stadiums. Right. right. That's when it's you realize the power. Yeah, I was in lockdown. I was cheering. I was alone yeah. yeah. and watching. Yeah. 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 Watching a big cricket. Yeah. The climax was like. Yeah. 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 Because you watched it a while ago, you forget. So you get. Yeah. Still, all the thrills are working. But also, how they gather the people together and all that. There's so much of you. And then I'm telling you, right before the last match, they put up an RT, and that also thought cracked those. ंग Like, do you see yourself in a Tamil film, or do you see I, yourself in a Hindi film? <laughs> he dying. He will reach. Go to Hyderabad or Chennai and live there. Dying. Like, jump in. Like, you already mentioned his interest. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, but actually, cinema and by extension, I would say regional cinema. I feel like I've been giving you only negative things about. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, it's, but actually, what you've been saying has been a real eye yeah. opener. So, but it's again, it's not so good. <laughs> Sorry, even my film is not out on OTT till now. It's with Geo. Uh, they have produced it, so I hope it'll get some what's, kind what's of release. Why don't we sell it on OTT right now? <laughs> I, I mean, all just give us something to sell. All your pages give us something to sell. Yeah. 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 Of course, we put it out there. He said it's the best film of the year. प्रॉब्लम इज दीपल डोट पिक अप Uh, yeah, I mean, since uh, it does not have that great of footfall in the theaters, maybe that's why the uh, OTT uh, owners or managers they feel that maybe they're not going to uh, generate the numbers but on also on theaters. Also, they have not had, and yet they. Yeah, but there's also, also, there's, there's, also a, there's, an, there's an amazing number of independent, good independent films out there that are not finding any kind of a release yeah. and a platform at yeah. the moment. See, I get saved because I'm a genre filmmaker. Right. My films wow. are still genre. But you're also so I get produced, I get saved by OTT. Anurag, because my films are all my films succeed only four years after release. No, but you're also <laughs> you're, like you have a name. You're a brand name, right? So yeah. your people say, okay, Anurag Kashyap yeah. is still a name. Because of the quality. Even if you're making a certain kind of film, there are many others who. And they're, they're not. They're, they're not, I know lots of films that. Because I've the seen thing is, a lot of people tell you know say like to say this. Oh, nobody makes good films anymore. Oh, nobody does yeah. that kind of film anymore, and they they make it sound like they they want to patronize a particular kind of cinema. But the first thing they look for on OTT is the big films. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much what what they do. At Absolutely. least the way I've seen it. Do you agree with that? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, Absolutely. So how do we kind of make sure that that films like like say Reema Das's or or Nipun's get? Does she have a new film out? Reema Das. The system first. Forget being seen or I think Reema's is on uh, Netflix. But but you know the other films. Uh, and and get get publicity enough for them to say at least at least give these films the chance. Sometimes I think it's as simple as not getting a meeting. I think it sometimes all it takes is that connection, is like X calling for Y and making it happen. Uh, sometimes that's just what it is in the industry. I've realized relationship building, networking, getting. That's what it's always been. Relationships. It's number one. Always has been. Yep. Telling them, showing it to them, and saying that look, there will be a wide audience. You don't have to actually publicize it because it will. A word of mouth will go for itself. All you have to build is a digital campaign. So it perhaps just takes that one meeting that perhaps hasn't been made possible for you. You know. Uh, you know. Uh, oh, I'm not. A <laughs> <laughs> I am not. Ani Rock is having a side yeah, conversation. But, uh, at the end of the day, it sometimes is just that. And and I'm just I mean not because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna have a chat with them and I do and tell them and ask them why because if this is such a celebrated wonderful film then they should be on the Netflix I'm the hot star right right so no, also, um, I think there's one way out which is what the youngsters are doing these days okay is YouTube. They literally know how to exploit mm. YouTube, which we don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Young the young, the youngsters. They're making these short films Say in places like Aligarh <laughs> and and small towns, and through YouTube. Yeah, Earlier, they would make their own DVDs and sell it door to door. Right. Now they are putting it on YouTube and spreading the word within the region. And TikTok. And they have, they have that small culture. No, not, in not in India. Also. Not in yeah, India. Movies yeah. straight to video movies. Yeah. I am five months away from putting out on YouTube, but I have to do it under an anonymous account. Yes. It's not with me, the film, of course. So uh, I mean, of course, some a studio. It's with a studio. A studio will never allow that. I believe that's how Smile got picked up. Smile was a short film that was just the concept, and the right person saw it and turned it into a feature. What is it? No, I'm making a. उटिंग 
be successful filmmaker evades me, so I'll continue making films. <laughs> my my fall will begin only if success comes to me. Karthi, what about my waiting PS2 next year? Same. We already finished shooting, so that's something expecting. And then we started shooting for Japan. That's with Raj Murugan, who's a great writer. So he's been having a huge following as a writer for his articles and for his books. And then Ravi Verma is shooting it. So uh, it's been very exciting. Just we finished the first schedule. And no, you know, wacky guy. <laughs> it's very different structure. Yeah, the poster itself looked a little. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so a very good experience for you me to explore very, something different. You pick very, very unusual subjects. Good. Right, 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 right from the beginning. Right from his first film. Right, right, right. And within the mainstream. That's, yeah, that's, right, right. that's, that's the commercial for me. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. not an art guy, so <laughs> I don't so have the intelligence to do art film, films. So. He's not an art guy, he won't act in your film. No, I, I don't think I'm an art filmmaker. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> He's very commercial. Yeah. I'm, I'm commercial in that way. Yeah, his, his genre. Yeah. I'm, I'm very new, pretty new to the field, but keeping the actor in me aside and just like an audience, um, how we all discussed that we were lacking the macho and all those movies. But along with that, I feel I also resonate. Sorry to get this. Richard had mentioned in some of the interviews that uh, local is national. And when I say local, I really want to wait for the movies that are deep rooted, like Kantara. Yeah. And Kantara is just one part of the whole Karnataka. Yeah, there's yeah. not Karnataka, there's Kurg, and so many, and there's so many stories to be told. And I really hope that all the makers here get all those stories out for me and for all of us audience to sit there and watch. Local and, uh, is global for the longest yeah, time. So local, local. Yeah, so local. Go local. <laughs> I don't know. I think uh, when you have a good year, is uh, you're even more afraid. So I am really like, mm. you know, uh, what is it, petrified yeah, right now. now. Right. This is a very interesting place. Yeah, so I, I am like, uh, literally petrified of every choice I'm going to make. Uh, right. I'm weighing every decision I've kind of taken for the year, uh, weighing it out with other options. And, and yeah, so it's, right. I want to hopefully keep the momentum going and keep doing good work, uh, irrespective of which industry. But presently, I'm doing King of Kota, which is like a Malayalam action. Right, right. So I've got Bawal coming up next with Nitish Tiwari, which I've finished filming. I've, I've actually shot three films. But haven't you got Circus before that? Circus is open. Oh, <laughs> I'm promoting <laughs> something. <laughs> I'm like, like Varun just wants to get something to sell. I've heard you say Circus so many times no, that I'm, I'm now thinking that the Ranveesh movie is actually <laughs> your movie. No, so, I think, see, honestly... But no, Varun, yeah. we'll come to you to sell all of this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, I love films. Yeah. Personally, I love films. So just being here as a cinema lover and whether it's North, South, East, West, wherever, I'm all for it. And if I, if I do have a certain name or a certain following, I'll always put it to... Put so basically, ahead. like like when people are not good with an Insta game, but they want to sell yeah. a film, come to you. That's that. Good. This is good, right? Yes. I would, no, like I, I really feel like it's it's. I think from this interview, it's really heartbreaking to hear good you know, a filmmaker film, yes. saying that you know my film has not got a platform where it can be seen by so many, and then you saying it's so good. So I genuinely feel the biggest outcome of this interview should be that we. If so many collective powers, we, draw here, on we should get his film Absolutely. onto a platform because he's a good filmmaker and we have to encourage the artists. So that's what we all right. claim to be. Uh, well, I feel like uh, I'm at a very interesting stage in my career right now in terms of uh, the steps that I take next is going to define me as who I am as an actor, right? Because I've done a certain kind of films and. Um, now what I do will either solidify who I am or change my perception. So I think for me, the way I look at it, what funny enough, what Dulkar was saying is about being scared. And I think somewhere it, it, it's inherently there in us as actors. But I think for me right now, what's motivating me is I just want to, uh, you know, be inspired going on set. Like I just want to uh, work with good filmmakers and you know make a project that we all feel that so you're proud of. About. Yeah, like, that's my number yeah. one goal. I don't know if it's gonna work, not work. Who's gonna watch it? So I think that's what I'm aiming for. You know, just making something that's unapologetically me and that I'm really proud of. Right? Mm. And let me tell you this. I, I, you know, like I think yours is one of the stories that that are going to keep inspiring people because. You had your debut in a certain yeah. industry, didn't do well, waited a long time. Another big movie came across, didn't do well, yeah. waited a long time. Mm -hmm. Suddenly things started falling into place. So it was yeah. like, you know, people in the film industry always keep waiting for these stories to kind of keep them going, yeah. right? So 
I'm that, so glad that you say that because like I come from a very non for me family. If you just work hard, you know, my journey hasn't been something like I started that one film and then it just took off and you know, it's been a constant process, right. you know. People ask me about the choice of films and I'm like that was what was offered to me. I took what I I I got and I made something out of it because like you have a hustle, you right. know. Uh and um, I hope that someone else watching that would you know relate to me and I mean that's like great thank you you made my day. <laughs> Karan are you going to sell rocky now? <laughs> no no no. I'm just very happy and very grateful for the success of coffee with Karan. Uh <laughs> I just feel it all else fails that will be a great backup plan. Uh, I was very nervous before the release uh because I felt like this was my strong future and and uh, I'm really happy about it. Because of nothing yeah, because of nothing yeah, so I'm like <laughs> anyway, jokes aside, it's been a turbulent ride this year for for many filmmakers. Uh, but it's also been a wake up call, and I think as someone who, as a studio head, if I have not taken heed to that wake up call, then I'll be stupid because uh, delusion is a disease without any vaccination in our industry, and I don't want to be deluded neither to the success or the failure of my films. Right. So I just want to keep learning, and um, this like today has been a learning. Every film that I watched in the last couple of years has been a learning. Box office has been a learning. The the core conviction that is lacking has been something that I've learned, and um, I just want to say, and you did mention Rocky Rani, and I, why not? It's the time to plug ourselves. Um, I'm like that is the film that I I made with only conviction because I was like, if I think of like like logic or like sensibility, am I saying anything profound, or I'm going to just have fun with with leading actors that I love? Um, I just make that film, so I just hope that that conviction comes across, and then just I just want to continue telling stories. That's it. Yeah. I think I just want to think about things that are in my control, which I believe is making a film. I'm proud of the film that I made right now, and I'm not proud of everything that I've made, but I am uh, proud of the film that I made right now, and I love that feeling, and I just want to work towards you know feeling that every uh, with every film that I make. So. Um, yeah, I think my focus will be more on making films that I believe in, um, and not uh, you know thinking where it is going to go, what will happen with this film. I just want to make uh, tell, mm. keep telling stories. I do. I know I can't sell stories, but I can at least tell them. So I'll, I'll mm. try to do that. Yeah. Right. So thanks everyone for being part of this and having this very f what th I think newspapers like to call free willing chat. Yeah. Yes. You know, like a free willing oh, yeah. chat with Dulkar, free willing chat with Karan, free willing chat with Karthi Anurag, whatever. But it's been great having all of you and uh, Emma particularly. I I really like your your philosophical <laughs> side. <laughs> no, I, it was actually a lead off from what he said, where he said that when an actor comes in the film, uh, I think you said Change. it, it, it changes. Yeah, it yeah every, every stage. Yeah, yeah. Every, every stage. Uh, yeah. So, <laughs> so when I write the film, for me, it's purest and it's mm. it's great when it's on paper. Every step of the way, it's like, oh, it's... <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. yeah. almost sort of messy. Yeah. feeling, but it's the best feeling ever. Yeah, it, it's, it's <laughs> what... But there's a Hindi saying that says, that you listen to everyone, do your own thing. Yeah. Because yeah. everybody has so many opinions. Yeah. I think that's what really scares you, jump into it. <laughs> yeah. That, that's yeah. how I totally. make my films. Totally. But it's very really scary and it challenges me. That's and when you yeah, jump into yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, thanks for calling us, Ben. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the work that you've done. Thank you for calling us, Ben. Thank you for the word of the word of the year. I think conviction conviction yeah. yeah that i think is is what we're taking properly this. placed it's a good word yeah thank you, thank you. all right it doesn't get more industrious <laughs> and terrific than this we just finished the mega round table for galata plus with Put on his host. he's got a host and then give him a big round of applause <laughs> <laughs> thank you everyone for being here so, and individually there's more talent and combined there's more talent in this room than there is in the whole city. he can't turn I it off i love him <laughs> i love him that's a little <laughs> He just can't turn it off, man. Nope. He can't turn it off. He shouldn't. That was uh love him. That was pretty enlightening. Well, it's great. A it's, wonderful round table. It's very this one obviously was different because the other one was more south focused and right. south currently. Um those industries. Uh, are, are have been doing quite well, especially with bigger budget films. Mm. And this being a more Hindi centric, even though it wasn't all Hindi, um, obviously they were talking about very um, topical things mm -hmm. of a bunch of films just 
not doing well and what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. And I love the fact that they're all talking about conviction. Absolutely. Make and what you want, make good content, but have conviction about yeah, it. Not have, because you think it's going to make a bunch of money. Exactly. Have the conviction in the proper place and the difference is really small. Are you interested in more? What is your conviction directed at? Telling stories or selling stories? Because if it's in telling stories, you're going to be more interested in the creative output. You're going to be more interested in your vision and your passion versus the end of the day box office receipt and what my, my budget's going to be like. And at the, we've talked about it over and over again ad nauseum, but it's so antithetical to the creative process to be thinking about the box office, even though it is a business. In the same way, it would be antithetical to have somebody with their wife about to make love. And their primary thought is, how many years down the road will this kid bring money to me so I can live off of them when I'm older? It's like, is that really the focus of your creative output? Is yeah. how much money am I going to get out of this? Yeah, yeah. It, it's it's gonna it's I, gonna fail if you uh, exactly if uh, if PS One if Monty was like, this is going to be a huge hit, and we're going to make a lot of money, and he didn't care about his story or his filmmaking. No, it wouldn't have done well because people aren't gonna people don't have time to go see bad cinema now. No, uh, give you an example. Yeah, it's outlandish, but you know why Avatar 2 has such a high budget? Because James Cameron wanted to tell the story he wants to tell. Huge gamble. He has to make, it has to be one of the biggest box office successes in cinema history yep. to break even. Mm -hmm. It's probably going to do it, but there were no freaking guarantees. That thing could have become the biggest box office bomb of all time. Word of mouth is good right now. It I, is. Word of mouth is great. We haven't seen it. Uh, but I think the reason that the word of mouth is great is because Cameron has a vision, mm -hmm. and he's sticking to it. Whether you like him or not or disagree with him or not, he's going to make the film he wants to make. Yeah. A lot of good stuff was said in there. Uh, yeah, great roundtable. On your rock about, um, you know, if, if, if you have, once you, I think you used the word conviction again, you can make whatever story you want about whatever subject you want. Um, but you have to believe in that story or else it becomes like propaganda or yes. <laughs> different kind of stuff like that. Um, and uh, like you can make high budget films and big action films. You can have conviction about that big action film and it, what, it, what it is and it could be successful. You can also have conviction about a really small intimate film and it, it'd be successful. It just needs to be good. Uh, even and though... I do disagree. They people don't always support good cinema. No, either it's true. Uh, unfortunately, like there's in, always a risk in every industry. Always going to be Gargi, a risk. Brilliant film this year from Tamil Industry didn't do well. But cinema lovers, people who love film and love the art form, one of the challenges India has, and they talked about it, is the fact that on the one hand, you do want to have a pan a pan American audience, right? You want the whole world to see your film like an RRR. Simultaneously understandably, whatever particular part of India you come from, you want to do what two of the, both ladies were saying. You want that, you want to see films about you and your people. Mm -hmm. How many times have we watched a film where we knew we weren't capturing the cultural idiosyncrasies that were going to be what make people love it from that particular part of India? Oh, yeah. But we still appreciated the film because it was a good film. Yeah. And I think that's the key is that you can tell the stories you want to tell and just make them good stories. And because they're usually connected to universal truth, mm -hmm. people are going to be interested. It's when you start trying to follow a formula. Right. Or, or things that work. Jump on the wave, like, like Anya Rock said. KGF did, even though we didn't like KGF 2, it did. It did incredibly. Insanely well. Yeah. Like, better than like every film. If you try to make a film now, like, I'm going to make the next KGF and it's going to make so much money, you're going to fail. Yeah. It's one of the reasons why I'm flabbergasted, frustrated, but at the same time interested in the vision to make the sequel to Joker a musical. Yeah. My, 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 the thing I love about that is different. it's so outside the box. It's outlandish. Yep. Uh, yeah, you never know. Just have conviction about your films and make exactly. it. And then just it, make it. the audiences will be the ones to decide whether they want to make see your, it. Make your India, film. India is so interesting and unique as opposed to Hollywood. Because of their different languages, and, yeah, and it's a whole they, other like, animal. Yeah, like they have so many different variables that Hollywood just doesn't have exactly. in their industry. It's such a unique thing. I love listening to all the filmmakers, but oh, Karen Johar, so much wisdom there. 
about because he's such a producer and he knows so much uh, more. He's a bigger producer, obviously, than everybody else. Anybody that, in the room, that, that, that room, yeah. And so he has such knowledge, even though he's such like a different filmmaker than like an Anya Rag or, or who, Bobby, that Marathi d- director next to him. Um, he he just has such a wealth of knowledge just because he he's been around so long and he knows what works and, and he's, he's so self aware. Um, I'm super interested to see his film because I'm expecting it to be this over the top romance film. But I mean, those can be awesome if you have conviction about it. If sure, saying can. he has conviction about it, I'm excited. I bet for it's it. going to be really good um, because you know it could be over the top and outlandish like all of his films. But all of his films have heart. They do, and that's what uh, that's what you look for. Yeah, as Renvere and Aliena, so that's great. Yeah. Uh, anyways, fantastic, fantastic, great round, round tables. Table. Let us know uh, what we uh, those. Uh, and that's the end of Corbett's day. <laughs>